The only thing you want to be aware of is on the bearish side, if it breaks this line, right, very crystal clear, there's no missing this line. If it breaks, if at any point Bitcoin breaks below this, that would be your alert, that would be your warning sign that you could be due for a bigger corrective move. We're at a point now where we see higher inflation, the economy still doing well, yet the Fed last week said, yeah, we're still planning on cutting three times. More and more analysts are saying, well, maybe not. Maybe that's not the key. Maybe we're only going to get two or one or even zero rate cuts this year. Wait a minute, everyone. Welcome to BitcoinZilla, your platform for daily cryptocurrency analysis and news. Our mission is to keep it simple. BitcoinZilla offers engaging information that is easy to understand. Our analysts keep their eyes on the latest news to provide valuable insights via email. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Join our community of 10,000 subscribers and experience the new edge with BitcoinZilla. Subscribe now. In this video, Gareth will share his insights on Bitcoin is seeing a price uptick. What's the significance of yesterday's high? Could we see a run into the $73 to $74,000 range? What happens if Bitcoin breaks a certain line? What could this mean for your investments? What's this classic wedge pattern that Bitcoin is creating? What could this mean for its future trajectory? With higher inflation and a strong economy, what's the Fed's plan? Will there be more rate cuts this year? Let's join Gareth in this interview about these topics and more. Now, number one, this is a chart here of Bitcoin. Now, this is the uh, daily chart, and we are seeing a little bit of a price uptick. So one of the things you're going to watch on this chart of Bitcoin today is the high from yesterday. That high, which is around, I believe it's around 71,600. So keep an eye on that. If we can break that, then you do. there is a decent probability that we can make a run into the seventy-three dollars to $74,000 range. That would be a double top. Now, like I said yesterday, the only thing you want to be aware of is on the bearish side. If it breaks this line, right, very crystal clear, there's no missing this line. If it breaks, if at any point Bitcoin breaks below this, that would be your alert. That would be your warning sign that you could be due for a bigger corrective move. But at this point, basically, what are we creating, guys? It's creating a wedge pattern, right? So classic wedge pattern like this. And again, the idea is, do we hit here? Do we get rejected? What do we do? Eventually, one of the ways we either break out or break down on these wedge patterns, and that will be interesting to watch. So again, a little bit of an uptick today on Bitcoin. We'll see if it lasts. A lot, I think, is determined by what the stock market does. Bitcoin is heading towards a supply squeeze a crisis that could happen within a year. Despite a price drop to $70,142, Bitcoin supply might soon be outpaced by demand. On March 1, a well-known colossal whale holding Bitcoins from 2010 activated 2,000 dormant Bitcoins across 40 transactions in a single block. Just four days afterward, on March 5, this entity once more made waves by transferring 1,000 Bitcoins originating from the same year. For the third instance in March, this entity has returned, reallocating 2,000 Bitcoins from 2010, marking another significant string of BTC movement after the assets had not been touched for more than a decade. I gave you the level to buy on this point on Cardano earlier, uh, basically a week ago when we were coming down to that, and it went right there. Same thing. Notice this trend line, very similar to the Bitcoin trend line. A lot of the cryptos have it. And what this tells us is that the cryptocurrencies generally trade together, right? If Bitcoin's up, generally the crypto, the altcoins are going to be up and vice versa. If Bitcoin falls sharply, generally the altcoins fall slightly. So a lot of them have these trend lines, these upsloping lines where technically Cardano is safe unless it gets below here. Gets below this area here, then you have problems. Now on the upside, you have your double top here, which is around 80 cents. If you can break above that, the one thing I'm keeping an eye on here is it looks to me like there could be a way, uh, parallel channel here. And let me just bring up that parallel channel. We'll draw it in real time here. Let's take that same low. Notice it's in orange. And what we can do is we can spread it right up here. So essentially, if we can break above, let's say, let's say if we do come up here and we hold this lower level, your upside target is going to be that upper range of the channel. If I zoom, pull it down a little bit, you're basically looking at a potential for a 90, 90 cent ish, give or take level target on Cardano. So again, that would be your next target to the upside. Now, by the way, that doesn't mean that it can't go above that. That's just going to be some resistance. It's going to have to fight through that level on the chart. 
Rich Dad Poor Dad author Robert Kiyosaki has answered multiple questions about Bitcoin and the US dollar. Declaring that he is a Bitcoin bull, the famous author said the cryptocurrency is the perfect asset at the right time, while acknowledging the possibility of Bitcoin going to zero. He countered by suggesting that fiat currencies like the US dollar, British pound, and Japanese yen could also face the same fate. He calls the USD and other fiat currencies giant Ponzi schemes. Gold here, gold is upticking again. I continue to see the bigger pattern here on gold, which again is just that inverse head and shoulder pattern. Amazing breakout. And again, I, you know, I don't want to feel like a, a, a broken record here, but again, for the most part, it's just crystal clear here to me. Here's your shoulder, here's your head, and here's your shoulder. There's your breakout. You do a measured move from this low to here, take that distance, replicate it out there, and you basically get a 20, I think it's a $2,530 price target uh, on gold for the next 12 months. So that's really how I do it, guys. I just look at these chart factors. I try to align as many things as possible and go with that at that point. U.S. presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr., RFK Jr., says cryptocurrency is the best hedge against inflation. He stressed that crypto takes control away from the government and from the monopolistic banking system, which uses money printing to shift wealth upward to the oligarchy of billionaires while impoverishing regular Americans. Federal Reserve President Christopher Waller will speak later today. The reason why these Fed speak speaks points are important is because basically we're at a point now where we see higher inflation, the economy still doing well, yet the Fed last week said, yeah, we're still planning on cutting three times. More and more analysts are saying, well, maybe not. Maybe that's not the key. Maybe we're only going to get two or one or even zero rate cuts this year. So this is going to be really interesting to watch to see what he guides the market to. Remember, when these Fed presidents do speeches, it's often to guide the markets to where the Fed wants them to be. Okay, next up, Robinhood. Robinhood debuts a credit card triggering the stock to jump about 7% this morning. Now, you guys know how I feel about this. This is just more debt, more debt, more debt. As long as the economy is good, credit card companies do great. The problem is, is when credit cards default because the economy does bad, that it then re kind of formulates negatively on the underlying company. So it'll be interesting to see how Robin Hood handles that if we get into a future recession. Number three, Merck. Merck jumps 5% after the FDA approved its treatment for a rare lung cancer drug. The only interesting thing here on Merck is that if you compare it to Eli Lilly, Eli Lilly is like double the market cap, but Merck actually makes more revenue by far than Eli Lilly. So again, what's the difference? Well, Eli Lilly has the weight loss drug, right? So that's the difference there. But I do think that it offers an interesting idea for these other drug companies that do much better in terms of revenue and profit to maybe be a catch-up trade in the future. Next up, GameStop. GameStop drops 20% after disappointing earnings. They also announced job cuts. So this is a classic example. And in fact, I was looking at the chart on Monday, I believe, and GameStop had a big rally. And to me, knowing that the earnings were coming out, I said to myself, there's a lot of meme traders here that are jumping in, hoping that these earnings are good. The problem is, is that as much as we might want a stock to do better, you have to look at competition. You have to look at what's going on with their business plan. And this certainly didn't come out very well for GameStop. So just remember that eventually you can, you can push stocks up. You can push meme coins up. You can do all of that. But at some point in the future, fundamentals actually matter. The use case for coins, right? Or the profitability for a company like GameStop. Lastly, Late day sells, and this to me is the most important that we're going to discuss today. Late day sells in big name stocks the last few days are likely a result of rebalancing at the end of quarters, right? So at the end of quarters, if you have a stock that has gone up parabolic, a lot of funds, a lot of ETFs that state that we're only going to hold X amount of this, they're, they're looking at their portfolio, they're looking at the ETF, they're looking at their fund and saying, wow, this is now a huge percentage of our fund because it has gone up so much. So what do they do? They back it off. They unload some of that to bring it back within the criteria of ownership percentage in that fund. If you've been with us so far, a big thank you. Don't forget to subscribe for free to Bitcoin Zella for your daily news. The link is waiting below. That's all for today's crypto news. Stick around for more updates, insights, and analysis on cryptocurrencies. 
Share your thoughts in the comments, like this video, and subscribe for more exciting content.